part way through for 10.30 on Sunday evening. Pete? Uh, we always knew that was going to be a big game. How satisfying is it to win that so comprehensively and, and by such a scoreline? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so our display was almost perfect. The first minute to 93, the way we played against the team. Our big arrival in the last season, uh, and always we struggle to find the way and the quality they have and the way they press and the transition they have. But all of them, start for Eddie, finish with Jack, uh, were really, really good the way we played. What have you done with Jack Grealish? Because he was just on a different level today, wasn't he? Either, either creating or, or chasing back. Yeah. No, I think all the season had been really, really well. Now it's the Jack, like uh, we thought that, uh, you know, Aston Villa fans know him really well. And uh, it's just question, uh, no, nothing changed because we are doing the same we are doing in the previous season. It's just to believe, oh, I'm part of that. I can be here. And now he believed completely, of course, had more minutes than the beginning. But the, the way he behaved when he was not playing in the beginning was exceptional. And and we are so satisfied for a performance, not today, that was amazing, was really, really good. I like the standing ovation for our fans to him, he deserved it. It's not just that, that it's a, all season is, is playing well. Sam? Just on, on Greece, I think it's his first goal at home this season. Who? Greenish. Oh. So, I mean, obviously football is judged on those numbers yeah. Should we be judging him on different terms? Well, it can be just for the block to Salah to maybe it could be the 2 zero. So football is more than the stats and uh, there's many, many things. And the way he gives us the tempo, the right tempo to play and the right tempo to to make an extra passes. And then I could not imagine with the big big name he is and important and the price the, the club paid and have this hum humility and humble to run as a, a teenager. and. That means a lot to me, for the team. And uh, yeah, but in the same time, he has to score more goals at home, definitely. Uh, could you explain how you adapt on playing without uh, Holland? With Julian. <laughs> how you play tactically? Nothing changed. <laughs> the quality, uh, football, football, the tactic is players. And when you have uh, Erling, we have uh, something special. And Julian is something special too, so we score a a perfect goal, all the action was brilliant. The vision to have the second one to to play in that position with, with Riyad, that he knows he's there. And it was involved in the first three goals and and except one or two actions that in the beginning with the Ruben he set the ball not properly with the ball and he was so clever and uh, because he's so intelligent. Listen is he play with he's playing with the national team, his World Cup champion. And if you are not good, you cannot play in a world champion team. So I'm very pleased. So thank you so much for the club, for Chiki, for all the players to the scouting, to discover him for this prize. Because the young player is just like Jack, is incredible, respected a lot there because he's so humble. And, and of course, you make a, a really, really good game. Hi, Pep. Uh, I want to ask you about Stones and what makes him. Right now, the ideal player, the hybrid role, right back. Yeah, it's not easy for him. Always, I thought since I arrived, I have the, you know, the quality to play there. You know, it's different when you see all the game in front of you. I have to be in the position that is surrounded for Anderson, Fabinho, from Salah, from Capco, from Elliot, and there in the middle. So it's surrounded like a bubble. And play there is not really easy. But it's so simple, have a lot of personality, and always I thought that. Of course, alone maybe it would be difficult, but alongside to Rodri, you know, and Ruben and Nathan help us a lot to understand the process. So, yeah, he played really, really, really good. Pep, after your equaliser, I think TV showed you interacting with a couple of the Liverpool subs. I think you showed Mello's hand. Is that something you just got carried away in the moment? Do you regret doing it? I was happy, and I said how nice was our goal. That's all. So, was this an attempt at humour and sort of interaction? Ah, of course. Come on. If there's nothing else, we'll just do one more with Sam, just at the front, before the embargo, please. I mean, just, Pep, just going back to that point, it was pretty provocative. You seemed to celebrate right in Simicass's face. I mean, was there some sort of argument before then? Nah, come on. I mean, it's, it's been all over TV. I mean, it's I'm so sorry.
I just speak with Simika, I just speak with Yava, it's a lack of respect. Ask him if I have a lack of respect. I celebrate the goal. I was celebrate with my son on the floor. I come here and I said, oh, and the night, the goal was nice, huh? isn't it? That's all. I'm so sorry if the TV. Uh, do you think so is lack of respect? Ah, okay, sorry. I'm so sorry. Is that embargo of Santa Johnson?